It's a pain in the ass. A little too big. Really need to be widened. The way the school was extended was because they felt that they didn't want to pay, well originally, they didn't want to pay for the, uh, the shuttles. They didn't want to pay for the shuttles to be um, used for the, all the students and having them go from school to school. And they thought they could make it cheaper by um, getting rid of the shuttles and just making all the students in one building. They needed that extra space so that they could, you know, get more people in here because there were more people coming. Now originally it was made, the plan was made up to fit, you know, all the students into one building. What ended up happening was, is they said, okay, well we have, you know, the, the uh, Sandberg building, the middle school, so we'll take that and we'll use that to add on to, and then we'll add on to the high school and put them into one building. They wanted to use uh, where um, the uh, other school was, the middle school, so they used that as a ninth grade section, so it takes away a few students that we have out of this school. Also, they wanted to join the schools together so they don't have them separate. You know, then people don't have to shuttle back and forth from one place to another. They could just be in that one area. Then they fell into a problem. The problem was that there's a creek right in the middle. So then they were like, okay, we'll put a bridge over it. The problem with the bridge idea was that um, it, it didn't allow a lot of students to travel between the schools, and they felt they didn't want to let the students travel outside anyway. So they built this $50,000 bridge, and nobody even uses it because they can't travel to school that way, so uh, back and forth between the schools that way. And so um, they feel that they need to um, you still use the shuttles. It's retarded as hell how they have to shuttle. They should just be able to walk. Because if you actually walk across like 10 feet, you get fucking suspended. And that's why the school is originally expanded, so we could have all the students in the one school. So I, I think it's kind of stupid because now they're, they're still using the shuttles and they spent thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars, and expanding the school. And the guy behind me, whoever's doing that chain, is going to die in a minute. So that's school. School is really big. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of good because you meet a lot of different people. You have a class on one side of the school, and you gotta go like and jump. Your next class is on the other side of the school, so you gotta like jump from one place to the other and everything. And it's like, and you're late to class, and the teacher like marks you late. Yeah, well, I guess like the school's big. It's humongous. It's really big. It's big, but the hallways aren't big enough for us to walk through like certain areas. The size of the school overall is actually a good idea. I like having all of the students in one place like they are. And um, it's, it's good for meeting new friends and, and, and socializing with different kinds of people. It's not big enough. <laughs> it's big, but the hallways aren't big enough for everyone to walk through. And like, usually we're all stuck for like five minutes. And we're late. <laughs> the hallways are too small, so students like don't get to the classes, you know, I suppose. Alright, uh, traveling from class to class, I swear, some parts of the school really need to be widened. <laughs> I don't like crowded hallways. I hate them. And honestly, it just makes me feel like I want to run them over. I do. Sometimes I'm just like going down the hallway and I'm like, I should just run all these kids over. And I've thought about it. I really do. But I'm not a killer. So I wouldn't do it. It's a pain in the ass. Cause like you can't even get to your classes. And I'm usually like for Spanish. Most of the time. Like once I got trampled over by this really big guy. And I rolled over like twice. For light. Um, in certain hallways everyone like the hallway like behind us, for instance, the one near like the main hallway, 
uh, everyone tries to get to their classes as short as possible, like the shortest distance, and there's only one hallway that goes to like the front of upstairs, and if you wanted to take like a shorter route with like people not to be in front of you, you'd have to go like the longer way. What specifically annoys me is when people drop folders, textbooks, and other variables into the hallways. Everyone stays at their locker and just throws books in the middle of the hallway because like, they think they can. That really annoys me because for me, I am, um, I, well, initially I got annoyed. I was like, you know what? It just, I would stop and I'd wait for them to pick it up. And of course they would just, you know, pretend like they never dropped it, which was sort of annoying. Um, but I guess what's really annoying is when people just stand in the hallways. To do nothing for like 20 minutes when they know they have to get to class too. And you got like those morons, they like stand in the middle of the, of the crowd and everything. They're just talking and everything. And you gotta move your way through them and it's just ridiculous. Now when people stand in the hallways, that's a big enough problem. But now when people drop things in the hallways, I just run them over. You dropped your Rolex? Sorry. I ran it over. There's too many people, basically. Like a mosh pit, but it's pretty cool at times. You get really pissed off and just like randomly shove people and they really don't care because it's the norm. The congested, uh, most congested hallway in the school is probably, you know, the cross intersection by the elevator and the stairs. The, see, see right there? See that hallway? Right there? Right there. Yeah, right there. Very, very crowded. As you know, that main hallway there, right next to the stairs, is the worst part in this school, and I really think they should build another hallway, or, or you know, another staircase to get upstairs because there's too many people traveling through that one doorway and it's way too congested. You, you can't get in, you can't get out, and then you're late for class and you get blamed for being late. It's like they know how congested these hallways are and they still mark you down as late. It's ridiculous and I'm sick of it. Always crowded with mass people. I don't know why they just make another hall and make it expanded or something. Because, like, everyone goes through that hallway to get to their classes from, like, the electors to their academic classes. Then, like, no one goes through the other hallway that's on the other side of the building. And the elevator and those stairs go directly upstairs to the new wing where the science department and the, um, everything upstairs is. And, I mean, it just becomes a big problem because you have all the kids coming down these sets of stairs in the elevator and they all go in that one cross intersection which, um, you know, is the busiest portion of the school. And it was actually there before the new wing was even built. So they had plenty of time to try and fix that. They just, they just never did. If they could do anything to make that hallway open, maybe, maybe just take away that whole doorway there and just make it an open area so we can all walk through. It would be much better than having a door there at all because the door is not necessary and it would be so much open, it would be so much more open that more people would be able to come in and out of there without having to get stuck in a door. And then the stupid people will leave one door closed and open the other. And they'll be like, oh, why is it so crowded here? Well, you have one door open and one closed. That makes no sense at all. And it pisses me off when people do that. A lot. So, it, in my opinion, they should just knock that entire wall and door down and have it open. As you can see, we're in the stupid, crowded hallway. On, luckily, it's not crowded right now because we're after school. I wish it was more like this during the day because uh, we wouldn't have to deal with all the congestion. <laughs> and the stupid groups of people that like to stand everywhere and talk. And they give you these doors. They give you these doors here. So you can walk outside. And you can go through this door over here. 
I guess, what did they think? Maybe it would be quicker, right? But no, you come to the door, right? You come to the door. It is locked all the time. And then when you knock, nobody can hear you because the people stand there in the congested hallway and look at you and go, ha, ha, ha. And when you fucking bang on the door, they finally come over and they open it. And when you get in there, it's the same amount of time from going this way. To going this way. So why give you that extra door to make your decision when it's the same amount of time from going this way and that way? Why? Why? And this. See these doors and this wall? They should just take this out altogether. It's a waste of time. Not only that, but when you're coming down the stairs, you have to open it. And if there's 15 million people standing all around here, how are you gonna open those doors? So, what I'm saying is take this wall, these doors, and this wall, and get rid of it all. Make it a big giant open space so we can walk in and out without the congestion. I relate to congested hallways to clogged veins, yeah. Clogged veins, like when somebody's really fat, not me, I'm not, I'm not saying me, but when somebody's really fat, and they, have, and they eat so much more fat to make themselves fatter and their veins just get clogged up. That's what that hallway's like. No, not me, John. Stop staring at me. But yeah, yeah. That's how I see those hallways. Big, giant, fat-filled veins. Traffic. Coming home on Route 18. Part 16's pretty bad, too. Part 16 sucks. <laughs> A roll of duct tape. Like, everyone's just staying there for, like, the maximum of, like, five minutes, at least. Very, <laughs> very, very small, like, in a coffin. It's like trying to fit. A golf ball. Garden nuts? <laughs> I feel that the um, time it takes me from get to class from class, for me, is actually pretty good. Because I leave every class five minutes early, and I get to every class five minutes early. Which is actually pretty good. And in honesty, I think what they should do in the future is for um, to, to lower the time to get to class, they should actually have freshmen, well not freshmen, but sophomores, juniors, and seniors. All the sophomores, or, or certain classes, you know, based on a, uh, a diagram, should let out at different times so that people would have time to get to their classrooms. Not a whole lot, you know, just by like maybe a minute or two. And I think that would give enough time to everybody to get from class to class. So that's what I think. So, I mean, the time to get from class to class is not really um, that bad, but I think you, they could do some things to uh, fix the problem. A time that I was late to class because of the damn hallways. There's so many times I don't think I can even explain a time. But that's how around it is around the school. So, I guess they go in the 12th period. I had to go in my locker, mosh pit through the hallway, up the stairs. It's pretty fun though, I gotta say. Yeah, so I'm always late when I have gym. And you know, after I have gym, I always have a class upstairs on the other side of the building. So it was like the first or second week of school, and we just sat in gym since we didn't do anything. And basically, everyone left gym really late. 
So we went to the class, and then I was late. So basically, if that happened again and again, I'd allow. I'll just say it happens a lot. Oh, very a lot. I mean, I, yeah, it happens a lot. Usually I'm late to class after lunch and after gym because everyone stays in the hallways to like talk to everyone else. And if I'm late more than like two minutes, it's an automatic that the teacher puts it down and then like it just piles up and then I'm out of class sometimes. Yeah, I think the school could give uh, more time for students to get to classes. I mean, they would only have to extend school by maybe uh, a good 20 minutes and then people would be able to get to their classes in time. I, I, I really do think they're rushing people because if you have to go from the gym and you have to go all the way upstairs into the new wing, that's going to take you some time because you have to go through congested areas, the most congested areas, and you're all the way across the school. So there's no way that you're going to get from place to place. I mean, I, I, I always hear the teachers say, you know, oh yeah, we can do it. But in reality, if you've ever noticed, all the teachers are late to their classes as well. So I mean, how they expect you to get to your class on time is beyond me when all the teachers are late to begin with. So um, that's all I got to say about that. Four minutes, but still, I mean, it's a short amount of time. Especially when you're coming from gym, I mean, you really got to like, push your way. It's almost like you have to run, really, to like one side of the school to the other, and then you get in trouble for that, too. Well, I think is that since they like cut off some of the areas by putting in the um the courtyard they should just make it the whole building so that everyone can just like walk across so and there'll be like more room uh i think we should all instead of like getting suspended for other stupid shit like ids last year and uh hats and ipods i think people should get like suspended for standing in the hallways um, I think they should put a new like staircase and like I don't know about it in the courtyard, but like between the office and the first main hallway or whatever, where the outdoors are. Instead of just having like an open area, they should just put like an outdoor staircase there so <sighs> people can go there quicker. Replace the principal and get somebody who actually knows how to put up a good idea. Oh, <laughs> principal doesn't her? make up the plan. Oh, right. He came out with this. Idea. Make a staircase. I don't care if they build it from the sky. Just put it somewhere so that we can get to freaking class without having to bump into a whole bunch of sweaty, nasty children that get me sick. You gotta like push your way through people and everything. But this is school, I mean, you're supposed to have easy access to classes. Like Old High School, yeah, it's a pretty good school. If they got rid of half the people here, oh, uh, as a school, it's not too bad. But I guess it really depends, because like, if you like a specific class, then you look forward to it. A lot of the teachers are good. Mr. Reed, awesome teacher. Oh, half the school is a good school. But, they have to get rid of the other half. And basically, everything else about it sucks, really. Because, it just does. They are just making our hallways congested. I'm sick of it. I, if they're all gone, we can walk through these hallways and not have any problem. I, I want a school that has like, 200, 300 people in it. We know everybody. That, that's how that's how great this school would be. We'd walk around and we'd be like, oh hey, look, it's that kid. I know that kid because this hallway is, is not congested and I can see him. But when you're in a congested hallway, you can't. You're walking around, you're like, oh look, there's my friend, but I can't get to him because there's 15 million people in my way. Um, I don't like the fact that now we have three grades instead of two because now we have to deal with more kids in the same like hallway space and it doesn't really work all the time. 
I don't even know how that happens. There's not even 15 million people in this school. But they all get in that hallway. It. Match hey. playoffs. It sucks. <laughs> what is this? So yeah, Old Bridge High School is a cool school. Yeah, I know. I said cool school. Yeah, it is. The people here, not so cool. It's a nice school and everything. You know, we do have problems. I mean, every high school does. But you know, it's you just got your good points and your bad points. It's just like life. You got good times and bad times, and that's about it. Now, there's some things the school can do to help, but they just ignore it. That's my opinion.